the management of course rich consumer products with gambhir outlining how the earnings were and also telling us what to expect going forward they expect the ad spend to increase in q3 from q2 uh, q3 onwards and also we'll uh, not see any more further price hikes but for talking about uh, earnings we have uh, vp nandakumar who is the md and ceo of manipur of finance joining us this morning good morning mr nandakumar thank you for joining us on et now but congratulations first on the strong set of results for the company the profits were up about 82% on a year on year basis mainly aided by a 260% jump in other income what contributed to the spike in the other income and how do you see the changing or rising gold prices impacting your financials and what also uh, would be the growth in gold loan segment and outlook here the, the, uh, the other income uh which is one time income contributes around 60 crores of the patch so out of this uh, 407 uh, crores 60 crores is one time because uh, there was some uh, income tax refund of its interest and then again uh, the yeah, some uh, 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 something uh, which has not been recognized during the last quarter uh, we, are, we were able to collect cash as it as it so uh, all these contributed uh, nearly 60 crores so this is a one time uh, advantage for the company and uh, the, the, the the second part of the question regarding growth in gold loan which, uh, which constitutes around 67% of our portfolio Uh, that uh, we had a 20% growth, uh, whereas uh, the growth of the underlying collateral, which is uh, gold jewellery, it's a tonnage grew by 7%. So uh, the growth is not only because of the uh, growth in the tonnage, but also because of the increase in the gold price. So still our loan to value, uh, which was around 62% earlier. the loan to value has come down to 60% so uh, the, uh, the the other businesses also grew well uh, microfinance is doing well uh, as well as other uh, in each other uh, businesses which we have started in the recent past like uh, affordable housing finance as well as vehicle finance these businesses are also doing well so overall we could uh, grow well uh, we we could get the required uh, support on the liability side so, so this has led to a good performance through the second quarter also uh, the share of your non gold business has come down to 33.1% from 34.2% on a sequential basis earlier in your interaction our interaction with you you mentioned about increasing the share of the non gold business to 50% how do you see the product uh, mix shaping up now Uh, yeah, no, the, um, so uh, the, this is not a, uh, a slightly long-term target of achieving 50% in non-gold business. Uh, that pursuit continues, but this time, because of these advantages which I have mentioned, because of uh, the 7% growth in tonnage plus uh, the gold price increase, we could achieve uh, during the second quarter a better growth in gold loan. But uh, um, uh, on a uh, uh, sustainable basis uh, what i expect uh, the uh, gold loan growth to be around 10 to uh, 12% in good times it can grow to 15% not more than that whereas the other businesses uh, the, the scope for growth is better so uh, maybe in a horizon of 5 years time uh, we will be reaching that uh, our projected about distribution of 50 in gold and 15 in non gold business npa ratios have declined on a quarter on quarter basis but how have been the absolute gross npa numbers the asset quality trends especially in the non gold segment on back of the slowdown in the economy you know see the the, the percentage terms the, the then gross npa remain at 50 basis points the uh, asset quality in microfinance uh, the, yeah, its collection uh, remains over 99% uh, which is uh, the, the situation in most of the uh, mfi companies uh, in, in the country uh, so uh, uh, ours is not bad ours may be slightly better in uh, uh, the commercial vehicle segment what i have projected is the uh, gnp of uh, 3% but uh, it is uh, the actual is only 2.8% so 
uh, with the increased trust in collection, I think uh, it will uh, uh, come down to a more comfortable position. So it is much the, more than what I have told during the last quarter. So in housing finance also, yes, uh, the housing finance this quarter has reported an ROA of nearly 2.5%. So uh, the, its performance is also improving. It also started growing. Overall, the uh, NPA, uh, the, uh, the non gold segment uh, remain very stable. It has actually come down. Also, uh, talking about uh, reports, according to reports, Bank P is looking to exit the stake from your company. So are these reports true? And also, if yes, do, how do they actually go ahead and plan to trim their stake in the company? So, uh, the, you know, it is, a, it is something which they have planned earlier also. They came, they, they invested uh, in 2011. And uh, yeah, the, their investment period is normally five years. And uh, as they have seen uh, the uh, performance of the company and management to be good, uh, they uh, uh, postponed their uh, exit. Uh, now they are there for the last eight years. They, and uh, it is the, it is, uh, they also feel like uh, it, this is the time where uh, they, they have to exit because of the, uh, uh, the investment uh, duration. All right, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nandakumar, thank you for joining us uh, on the show, giving us your take on the earnings gone by and also what you see the progress uh, ahead. That was the management of uh, Manipura Finance uh, outlining their Q2 earnings as well. But let's get on board with uh, buying.